Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you guys are all doing well. For today's makeup look, I want to recreate one of Chang Ha's recent makeup looks. So she recently released a new single called Stay Tonight, which by the way, I love, love the choreography as well. But in that music video, she is rocking so many different makeup looks, she has so many outfit changes, but there was one makeup look that stood out to me that I wanted to try and recreate and achieve for today's video. I saw the rhinestones and I had similar rhinestones that I feel like I could possibly pull this off. So that's what we're going to try and achieve for today's video. I'll insert some photos here so you guys know what I'm talking about. I already have my hair in pigtails just like she does for this look. I don't have half as much hair as she does but we're working with what we have and I also have these silver chain earrings on. She has like a lot of silver jewelry going on that I just don't have so I'm working again with what I have. These ones are from YesStyle. I'll link it down below if I can find it and I also already have my contacts in. These ones are from Harper Kristen in the style Tada Kristen. They're just like a dark gray but they really enlarge my eyes and I was trying to look at her eyes and it doesn't look like she has any colored lenses in but it does look enlarging so I thought I would go with this one. And I do have a code with Harper Kristen by the way if you guys are curious about this brand and you want to try out new contacts I do have a code with them. It is an affiliate code so it does help me out. I do get commission from that. So with that being said let's just jump straight into the makeup. We'll first start off with primer. I'm gonna use the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. So Good Molecules is actually a skincare brand and they've been sending me PR and they came out with this primer. I only use it like a couple times so I don't really have too much of an opinion on it but it's a moisturizer and I feel like I could do with some moisturizing on my skin so I'm just gonna apply that to my skin. I haven't been using primers a lot recently. I've been trying to use like less product on my face, but let's just give this one a go. I want this video to feel like a full tutorial and I feel like every tutorial starts off with primer. So here I am using primer. And then moving into foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation in the shade 4.0. This is my go-to foundation. I recently just uploaded a foundation slash concealer collection video but obviously Changha is a lot fairer than me but she does always have a flawless base and this is a foundation that is going to give me a flawless base. I'm using my Juno & Co sponge, the microfiber one. Been loving this one for my foundation. I also have an affiliate code with Juno & Co as well. If you guys are curious, I would highly recommend the sponge is so good to blend in foundation. But I'm just gonna pounce it in to my skin. I also wanna mention that last year I actually recreated another Chang Ha makeup look. It was from her Snappin' music video with the pearls. So I'll link that in a card somewhere here and I'll also link it down below for you guys um, just in case you guys wanna see that as well. And another K pop makeup look I also recreated was from Kill This Love, Blackpink, Jenny. It was part of like a three demo look, but I'll link it down below anyway if you guys wanna see it. I think those two are the only K-pop makeup looks that I have recreated. And I do wanna recreate more, so let me know if there's like any other iconic K-pop makeup that you want me to recreate. Like I want very iconic ones. When you see it, you know where it's from, you know what I mean? I recently just bought fake bangs off Style to do a Sujin inspired makeup look. It's Sujin from G Idol. So a lot of you guys always tell me that I resemble her. So I thought I would do a makeup look inspired by her. So that will be coming up soon. That's another K-pop makeup look that I'm working on. But let me know what other iconic makeup looks are out there and I'll be sure to check them out. And if I get inspired by them, I definitely will recreate it. I was thinking of doing Hwasa as well because she has such a unique makeup style, like her lower lash line. I don't know if my eye shape could really pull that off, but she's one that I'm thinking about as well. But let me know what you guys think down below. I feel like you guys know a lot more idols than I do. Then I'm going into my Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I'm gonna take a golden beige first and I'm gonna use this shade just to conceal a bit of my scarring. And I'll take almond for my under eyes. And I'm switching up my sponges. I'm gonna use the ColourPop sponge and blend all of that in. But what do you guys think of Chung Ha's new song? I actually really like it. At first listen, I wasn't really like into it, but I think the more you listen to it, the more it like stays in your head and it's super catchy now. Like that's all 
that's ringing in my head but I really like Changha I think she's really experimental when it comes to her music and her style like makeup I feel like her makeup is really nice because she does do a lot of different makeup looks she plays with color it's not like just the standard k-pop idol sort of makeup you know which is really pretty but I think yeah she really does experiment and I really love that so I'm really inspired by her And then for powder, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. And I'm going to use this to set down my under eyes. This is a new powder that I have been trying out recently. And I mean, it's nice, but I still prefer the Too Faced Born This Way loose powder that I was using before. I just wanted to try a new powder, see if I could find like a new Holy Grail possibly. There's just so much makeup out there that I wanted to just try something, you know new and I wish I sort of wish I didn't I sort of wish I just stuck to the Too Faced one because I don't like this one as much I think it does look a little bit too cakey and there's a really strong scent on this at first it was a bit overpowering I've gotten used to it and I actually do like the smell of it now but I think in the beginning it's just really really strong And then just gonna take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to sort of mount down the powder and set the makeup in place. So that's pretty much the base done. Let's move into our brows. I thought I would just do my brows on camera because sometimes I get comments from you guys saying you wish I did my brows on camera more often. So here we go, it's nothing special very sparse brows so you know we gotta work with what we have i'm gonna take the next micro brow pencil in the shade black i love this brow pencil it's my holy grail and what i like to do is just draw a line underneath my brow and i've been doing more of a straighter brows the line is actually pretty straight So actually not that straight, but I think compared to how I used to do my brows, these are a lot straighter than how I used to do it. I look back at just videos from, I don't know, two months ago and I look at my brows and I'm like, whoa, they're just way too arched. I think a straighter brow definitely suits my face shape a lot better. I put most of the product at the tail and then what is if it left, I bring that to the inner part of the brows. Okay, so brows done. They look pretty okay today, not too bad. But we'll move into eyeshadow. I think I will move you guys a little bit closer. Her eyeshadow is actually pretty simple. It's just like a neutral smoky eye. I think a lot of the attention goes to the rhinestones. There's not much shimmer on her eyes from what it seems like in the photos, that is. For today's palette, I'm gonna use Going Coconuts from Colourpop Cosmetics. It's like a neutral, almost cool tone palette. So the first shade we'll go into is Cool Glider up in the corner here. I'm using my Colourpop E15 brush. I'm just going to put that into my crease and really diffuse this out. I am waiting for a package from Lenstown. They are sending over some lenses to me. I got to pick out some and I saw that Changha was the model for some of the lenses from Lenstown and I picked out a lot of the ones that she was modeling for. So that's a video that you guys should be expecting sometime soon. And I saw from the campaign pictures when she was modeling for them that she's wearing a lot of different makeup looks. So I don't know, should I do another inspired look by her from her campaign? We'll see. I just wanted to share that with you guys since that is sort of Changha related. I'm also going to take that same shade onto my lower lash line as well. And then I'm just going to jump straight into Nutty using my E19 Colourpop brush. I'm just going to pack that onto my lid space first to get the most pigmentation there and then we'll slowly blend that up towards our crease area. I'm 
now gonna take that same shade onto my lower lash line. I think I'll just focus it at the outer corner here and really drag this down at this outer corner. Now moving into eyeliner, I'm taking this one from UZU, it's their Mont Liner in Black. I think there's like two different names for this eyeliner, but this one is my favorite eyeliner. I'm going to create a little wing. She has like a very small baby cat wing. I'm going to try my best to achieve it. I feel like when I do my liquid liner, it just gets out of control. I'm going to go in with this angled brush from Vanity Planet. It's very thin, very skinny, and I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow. This one is from NYX Cosmetics, and I'm going to use this to just smudge out that wing. And now repeat on the other eye. I'm going to use that same liquid liner to tight line my upper waterline, which I know sounds really crazy. I'm just going to take the creme gel liner in the shade Mr. Bing from Colourpop and use this at the outer corners of my eyes just to tight line that area. Now it's time to prep the lashes. I'm just going to apply glue to my falsies. These ones are from Colourpop in the style Shorty. They are a pretty full lash, but they are pretty short in length. So that way when I look up, you still can see the rhinestones peeking through. You can see here. The glue that I'm using right now is the Petite Cosmetics Lash Glue. This one works. It's not my favorite lash glue. I still prefer the duo one, but it gets the lash on. And while we wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm just gonna take my lash curler and curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. This is my current favorite mascara. So the lash glue is still drying, so we're just gonna move back onto the face. It doesn't look like she has any bronzer, but like a little bit of contouring, so we're gonna apply a little. I'm just going to my NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, taking this shade here, which is called Sculpt. I'm using the ColourPop F21 brush. And I'm gonna take a bit of that to contour my nose as well. Lash glued is dry. I'm going to quickly apply these on. Colourpop lashes aren't my favorite. I think the band is really, really thick, but I do like the style of these. They're very short, but they give definition to my eyes. I wish the band was just a little bit more thinner so it would be more comfortable to wear. So lashes are on. I'm just going to finish off the cheek area since we didn't finish that. I'm going to take a bit of blush. This one is the Super Shock Cheek from Colourpop in the shade Between the Sheets. It doesn't look like she has blush on, but I feel like I just need a bit of blush. So this is like a very natural blush and I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones just a little bit just because I feel like I need some warmth in my face right now. Just a little bit of blush. Nothing too much. And then just adding a bit of highlight, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm just going to take a mixture of these two and I'll just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. So it also doesn't look like she has like a really high shine highlighter on. All right, so cheeks are done. Let's go in with the rhinestones, the star of this entire makeup look. So this one is from Crafter's Choice. It's called Metallic Silver 2mm. I just got this from my local craft store. So she has about five on each eye. Her one does look a bit bigger than my little gemstones, but that's fine. I'm gonna apply it above my crease 
the natural fold of my crease so that way when we look up we still can see the rhinestones. Time to match it on the other eye, which is probably gonna be the hardest part. The thing is, is that I have uneven eyes, so this is going to look uneven, no matter what, because my lids are two different lids. This eye is more rounded, this one is a little bit more straight. <laughs> Struggles! It's okay, you can, you can barely even tell. So that's all 10 on. I feel like up close you can see it, but from far away, not so much, but I think it looked really pretty. We have one more step to go, that is our lips. So I think in the music video, she's wearing more of like a nude lip, but then in her studio tune performance, she wore this look, but she was wearing like a red lipstick. And I think I will go with the red just because I feel like I need a pop of color on my face. Like I feel like I look too cool tone, too dull. <laughs> Okay, we'll go. We'll go with City of Stars. Just a tint lip crayon from ColourPop Cosmetics. All right, you guys. So this is the final inspired Chungha Stay Tonight makeup look completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun creating this look, getting inspired by this look. It was just so fun to really piece this look together, take it step by step, and just do my hair in a different style, wear different jewelry. It was just really fun for me to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much if you did. And also, don't forget to comment down below any other makeup looks that you want me to recreate. I'm open to taking inspiration so I drop them down below and I'll do my research and hopefully I can do more recreations in the future. Like I said, Sujin is coming up, just waiting for my bangs to arrive in the mail. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Stay tonight, stay tonight. Stay